Hi there. Um, if you've lived in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for any length of time, you've probably noticed uh, that we're growing pretty fast. Well, I thought I would uh, give you a little perspective. I actually moved to DFW in 1974. I was 20 years old uh, when I got here, and um, I've been reflecting lately on certain things about our growth that I think are very interesting and uh, very instructive or um, helpful in planning for the future. So I put together a little data that I gleaned from a variety of sources, and I wanted to, to share with you um, how, um, how things are sort of progressing in the DFW area. Back in 1975, shortly after I got here, the Dallas-Fort Worth area had about 2 million people. Now, that's the entire Metroplex. They called it a standard metropolitan or statistical metropolitan area at that time. And focusing our attention primarily on the Dallas side of the Metroplex, because that's really where the majority of the growth uh, in the Metroplex has occurred. The important things from an infrastructure perspective, and that's really what I'm going to do. I'm going to tie infrastructure and population growth um, as a simple way of predicting what's going to happen in the future. So the dominant um, arteries or thoroughfares uh, back at that time, I've got a graphic in just a second, but really Loop 12 uh, was completed around the city back in probably the 50s. Uh, Dallas North Toll Road was complete up to 635, and 635 was still under construction. It had not been completed around the entire Metroplex or around the entire Dallas area. Now, if you jump from 1975 to uh, 1990, Dallas, the Dallas-Fort Worth area had grown by about 1 million people, about 3 million. And on the Dallas side, the major accomplishments from a road artery perspective was that the Dallas North Toll Road had been completed up through the Addison area to where George Bush was. The George Bush Freeway was uh, still under construction. And um, so those were two major uh, thoroughfares. Now, let's go forward now an additional 10 years to the year 2000. And in 2000, the population in the Metroplex was approximately 4 million people. And the major accomplishments from an artery perspective was that the Dallas North Toll Road uh, was completed through Addison. Now, it had not yet been expanded, but it was completed through Addison and uh, all the way up in uh, basically to 121. Uh, so up to Frisco. Now, 121 was under expansion, uh, was still under construction for the initial two-lane freeway component. They had yet to come in and add the third and fourth lanes that now exist. Um, but the basic construction on 121 was uh, underway. When you uh, reach today, and, and at 2010, there was about 5 million people in the Metroplex. Uh, 635 was being expanded. Um, the northern section in Farmers Branch and North Dallas uh, was being um, there was uh, the underground, the uh, express lanes were being built. Now, by the time we get to today, 2022, there's a general con confluence of data that says there's about seven and a half million people in the Metroplex. By the time we reach nine, uh, 2025, there should be right at eight million people. Now, major things to know about the arteries are that the Dallas North Toll Road is currently uh, being cro uh, expanded uh, further north into the Salina area. Uh, currently, they're, as of the summer of 2022, they're doing the overpass over Highway 380. And the section that goes all the way up about another six and a half miles to Salina has not yet been started for construction, but should be done about 2025. And um, Highway 121 has been expanded. It is now a very nice road from importantly, the airport all the way up to McKinney, where it connects with 75. Now, by 2030, major things that are going to happen will be that the Dallas North Toll Road should have been already completed up through Salina. And the next section for about another six or seven miles, we'll, we'll take it up through Gunter. And then further um, after that, I think up to Pilot Point, which is where it currently is planned 
to end, and that'll probably be about 2040. By 2030, there's an estimated 9 million people that'll be in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, we're growing now, and at that point in time, we'll be growing at about 200,000 people net add per year. By 2040, we should have about 11 million, 2050 about 13 million, and 2060 somewhere around 15 million. Now, the important things to note about the total, uh, the expansion, I want to come back and kind of go to this map of Dallas. Now, I've got some concentric rings here around uh, the core Dal city of Dallas you see down at the lower portion. The inner circle, the red blob, is Dallas downtown and uptown. And then you have about five miles, six miles out, you have the, um, the Beltline Road Northwest Highway that loops around the city. That's not a freeway, but it is a major artery. Then you have Loop 635. And then as you radiate out, you have the Bush Turnpike. And uh, then as you continue north, you have Highway 121 that crosses uh, down to the airport from uh, McKinney. And then from McKinney over to Denton, you have State Highway 380. And as you continue on north, you have on the eastern side State Highway 75, which is a basically an interstate freeway, though it's not actually formally an interstate. Um, to the west, you have Interstate 35 continuing north from Denton. And then the Dallas North Toll Road, which ultimately around 2040 will be completed up to about Pilot Point. Now, the growth that is going to be happening in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and we're talking about adding another five, uh, six, seven million people in the next 25 years. Um, the, the growth is going to be driven primarily into this big square that you see here. Now, some of the things that are going to drive that uh, currently under construction in Sherman um, is the uh, about a 30 billion, over 30 billion dollar investment in a semiconductor set of semiconductor uh, production facilities. This is going to become the hub of semiconductor manufacturing in the United States. It's going to be a tremendous economic boom to the entire region, but in particular to Sherman. And as a result, as you see people moving into this northern area, you're going to see where this purplish screen um, uh, square is or um, cornered, curves, corner square is. This is where uh, probably three or four million of those five or six million people are going to move. They're going to move into this area. Now, what's important to note are the arteries that currently exist. Uh, State Highway 82, State Highway 289, which is basically Preston Road, and the Dallas North Toll Road all make wonderful northwest or north-south arteries. And of course, you already have 75 to the east and 35 to the west. Now, because you have a big lake um, on the western side, you're going to see a little bit slower growth over there simply because it'll probably be more estate-sized uh, properties simply because the, um, the north-south arteries are not going to be as... Um, um, as conductive to, uh, you know, egress into the, the, the uh, commercial sections of Dallas and the Metroplex. Now, I want you to look at the small red circles going north from downtown Dallas. Uh, with the building out of Loop 12, uh, what you had was a small city began to develop around the intersection of Northwest Highway and... Um, uh, the Dallas North Toll Road. That's not even got a name. It's just the Preston uh, Forest sort of uh, commercial district. Then you have the next um, growth area is Addison. And as Addison got built out, remember each one of these things is approximately 10 to 15 years um, time lag in between. But it, it sort of is speeding up now because of the more rapid growth that we're having. Uh, the next area was Addison. And then, uh, then you saw the Plano West area grow out, and then the, um, the the legacy area. Now, this is where 121 and the Dallas North Toll Road cross. And if you plant a flag in that uh, at that intersection, draw a two-mile circle, there's more square footage of office space 
in in that area than there is in the entire city of Fort Worth, and it's not even named a city. You have Legacy East, Legacy West, you have um, the Hall Financial Park, you have the Stonebriar District, and then you have the Star, which is the uh, the Cowboys area. That area is massive. And what you're seeing is it's creeping north along the Dallas North Tollway. But what's about to happen here at the intersection of Highway 380 and the Dallas North Toll Road is really interesting. You've got a major resort area, the Omni Hotel and PGA is growing up. And then there's some incredibly massive residential and commercial uh, being planned for this area. And so what you're going to see is another city grow up here at this intersection. And over the next few years, you're going to see as the um, highway, State Highway 289 Preston Road gets, gets built out and widened and made more of an artery. And the same thing's going to happen to, to State Highway 82. This area, the northwest corner of Collin County, will be where the most rapid near-term growth in terms of both commercial, um, in terms of retail and office space growth will be, as well as residential growth. And basically what happens is as the city crawls north, the executives, mid and high level, but not necessarily C-level executives, the mid and high level executives, they go a little bit further north to be able to get more affordable land. And then as they go further north, the, the city eventually sort of crawls north to be able to make their commute less um, uh, less time consuming. And so you're going to see, again, over the course of the next uh, the next 10 to 20 years, indeed 30, 40 years, you're going to see incredible growth in this general square um, by Denton, Gainesville, Sherman, and McKinney, with in particularly rapid growth near the uh, the silicon the silicon semiconductor plants in Sherman, as well as the northwest corner of Collin as of Collin County. So if you're thinking about making some sort of investment in real estate, maybe purchasing a home, maybe uh, purchasing land for future development, these these are the the, the major macro dynamic di uh, economic factors that are going to be making this part of the Metroplex sort of the golden zone. If you're interested in knowing more or having a conversation, if you're looking for a house or a property, please give me a call. Um, I'm glad to help and um, I'll be glad to answer any questions and, um, you know, just talk through what your ideas are and, and see what um, see what kind of, a, you know, steps might should be taken next to help you take advantage of what is about to happen. Thanks for watching.